Today, we are testing out one of my all-time favorite cards from New Capenna. Let's see how it goes. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. We're testing out a fun one. Uh, this is MTG original deckless uh, version of an arcane bombardment deck. So first and foremost, thank you so much to MTG original for sharing this one. Really do appreciate it. Uh, I will, of course, link him down below. But this deck is hilarious. I haven't tested this. I've seen a lot of different versions of this uh style deck the idea is to get arcane bombardment down uh as soon as we can and in doing so we're really gonna start to hopefully take over the game with the ability being able to cast multiple spells every turn that kind of stuff uh now a lot of the lists that i have been seeing have been very treasure focused so we've seen things like big score even unexpected windfall things like that still hitting the list uh i would like to try that version out but i actually saw this one on aether hub and i was like ooh. That looks really fun. So uh, this is Splashing Black uh, for a couple of different cards. So first and foremost, we have Tainted Indulgence. Little two mana spell here. Draw two cards, then discard a card unless there are five or more mana values among cards in your graveyard. Uh, seems pretty interesting. I'm curious to see how this goes. It doesn't seem like it's a big replacement for big score. Um, but it is cheaper, and so there might be some value there, and we'll, we'll see as we go. We do have Maestro's Charm here, so you can choose one of the three. You can look at the top five cards of your deck, put one of those into your hand and the rest into your graveyard, all of which really benefits us. Uh, each opponent loses three life, you gain three life, or it deals five damage to target creature or player. Obviously, the idea is to stack these and do multiples every turn, uh, and so this seems very, very good for the list. And then finally, we have Inscription of Ruin, which is kind of an interesting one because you get to do different stuff. Um, again, giving options with this list seems like the, the kind of sub theme. And we'll see how this one works out as well. The idea is to basically control the game until we can get to that arcane bombardment. Along the way, we'll find ways to discard these, uh, creating treasure tokens, which will help ramp us into the arcane bombardment. And once we have that down, hopefully just win the game off of a bunch of stuff. We do have uh, the Igneous Inspiration, uh, which does give us access to the sideboard, which again, we can use and then replay. <laughs> uh, and so I do like the addition of that. Um, I don't know. I'm curious to see how this version of it goes. Of course, the classic 61 cards for an MTG original deck. Uh, but I'm really interested to see how this one goes. I think it's going to be fun. Let's jump right in. We're going to learn together, guys, because I have not tested this one out at all. I have, again, seen a lot of the play patterns of it. So we're going to test it. Hopefully see if we can do pretty well with it. I'm really excited for this one. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. A uh, little bit of a tricky hand, but I'm actually going to keep it. Uh, the the double tapped lands, not great, uh, but we do have a play with fire, which can deal with an early game threat. And then we've actually got two things we can discard to treasure tokens. And then, of course, burn down the house later on, which is phenomenal. Uh, what we really need is just some card draw. Um, that would be the biggest thing. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll drop down the uh, the lounge here. Let's see what we can do. Um really like this arcane bombardment card i did actually pick it on our podcast uh country fried and i started a podcast a couple weeks ago with the new set uh it's called the glorious sunrise podcast which i highly encourage everybody to check out absolute blast um but as part of that podcast we actually discussed our top picks for every color and that kind of stuff arcane bombardment was 100 my favorite red card uh there's a lot of good ones to choose from but my goodness is the breaking potential just everywhere with that card so i'm really fascinated to see where this goes i think it'll be a blast um and like i said i just think it's a sick card it's so mean um so i'm actually gonna play this out for blue here and the reason being i'd like to leave up the play with fire with a discard for a treasure token here uh, and this is really the only way we're gonna be able to do that so we'll we'll see what happens um maybe the opponent will play a spell maybe not um, let's go ahead and we'll discard the creative outburst here. Get that. All right. And we got another one. Interesting. Um, well, I mean, pretty, uh, straightforward line here. We're not really getting much card draw. We really just need an arcane bombardment at this point. Uh, I would like to get a couple more lands or treasures out because then we can play with fire as soon as we use the arcane bombardment, uh, which is certainly a helpful option for us. Go ahead and create another treasure token. Uh, get both of those down. That's very, very good. Okay. Um, 
do we use it just to like hit him for three or do we wait i think we just wait we really aren't pressured at all uh so i'm not really that worried about it uh we'll see what the opponent decides to do this turn there's the lull fully expected lulls to come down at some point here so this is fine um the question becomes do we want to uh let's see one two three four five six i think i'll just go ahead and do this we'll, we'll keep things easy here um, might be worth it just to burn down the house to get rid of Lolf, but I mean, eventually I assume they've got blood on the snow. I don't think that's an unreasonable expectation. There's our blue source, so now we can just burn down the house here. I kind of like the idea of filling our graveyard with just all the big stuff, because again, keep in mind, the idea is we're going to get all this back uh, if we can. And so we'll, we'll see what happens here. Would really just love an arcane bombardment at this point. <laughs> that would be about the best thing we could get. Cool. Uh, this is fine. Um, question is, do we want to do this or do we just want to wait? I think we just wait. We can burn down the house and get rid of everything. Which I'm super into that idea. So we can also just inspiration just to get the... Um... You know, I am going to go this route. Let's do this. We need to get something going here. So the learn here is actually pretty important for us. Um... Let's see, if your friend has more cards. So let's see, they do have more cards in hand. I think I'm gonna go teaching. Uh, we'll auto pay. I just wanna draw some stuff, you know? Like, I'll take some damage. I don't really care about that, but um, kinda just need to get some stuff going. opponent deciding on something I feel like this is pretty straightforward um I do like the teachings here though because this does give us the most opportunity to to draw an arcane bombardment again there it is heck yes um awesome so next turn we're really gonna start going off here which is perfect uh we can arcane bombardment then play with fire on a 2-1 and then we're pretty much golden um, we're not going to do anything this turn, obviously. Let that hit. That's fine. Uh, they could Field of Ruin, but I don't know what they would Field of Ruin. <laughs> Alright, so let's get the Arcane Bombardment down. Uh, I don't know what kind of enchantment hate they might have, but that is slightly a worry. Let's go ahead and get one of these guys off the field. We can actually hit the other one the next turn, uh, like on their upkeep here, so that's pretty relevant. Um, so we hit. Oh, <laughs> all right, sick. Um, I guess we'll hit them because we can hit the play with fire. <laughs> um, I think it's just magma opus. Just seems like the best play. All right, cool. Um, so now on their upkeep, we'll hit the other one. So let's do this and now we get to do so this hits basically we get to do this all again <laughs> is the idea um but we also get to hit another spell so this is how arcane bombardment works oh fantastic um so so we want to cast this one first and then we want or the teachings first and then the uh creative so we draw more i believe i don't think it matters but here we are uh sick I think we'll take the inscription kind of like the idea of getting some discard going here so like that seems pretty reasonable and now again at this point it's just like okay what what can you have uh that can deal with this okay that will do it 100 uh and that's actually a very frustrating play because it does deal with so much but we do have options still we've got another arcane bombardment in hand uh so i'm not terribly worried about this Oh, cool. We get to bring all those back. That's very good. All right. Sick. Uh, so we can just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we don't have quite enough, but uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. What do we want to do? Might just be Arcane Bombardment. I don't love that play though. It seems kind of bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hit him. I'm just gonna poke him for five uh, and grab another card here. Uh, I do think it's just a land, honestly. My thing is, if we can get Arcane Bombardment down and then Roiling Eruption, uh, it deals three damage to, to them, and then ideally we'll just hit another thing. So, like, seems kind of straightforward again. Um, and they've got to do a lot of damage to us before they can win the game here, so. Let's Bombardment. I guess we could have just Magma Opus, but that doesn't win us the game, unfortunately. Deal three damage, and here we have a very real possibility of just winning. So, we'll see. I don't think we... Oh, yeah, we totally do. All right, sick. Um, all right, we did it. That's the deck. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, really, really well played. I'm very happy that worked out so well. Let's move on to game two. What's up, guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just want to remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for game two. What a weird hand. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> uh, this is a probably really bad hand but uh i kind of like the idea of seeing if we can just play with fire away every little thing that the opponent decides to do we got the bombardment uh let's go ahead and play the lounge this is going to give us every color we need and again we're just in control mode sick happily just going to go ahead and get rid of this uh not something i really want to deal with so seems pretty obvious to me uh, we'll go ahead and play the other lounge since this is not an instant. Uh, if it was, I would be more apt to playing the, uh, island, but we really don't need to at this point. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go to end of turn just in case. I don't think they'll have anything, but let's go ahead and ping the second one. Um, <laughs> just to, just to really add insult to injury, you know? Um... Cool. I think we're just in like wait and see mode, so I'm not really stressing about uh, going ahead and pulling off the inspiration. I would like to get this going at some point because if they don't... Okay, perfect. So that's even better. I'm glad we can at least hit something with it. I'd rather hit a creature with it at this point in the game um, than hit them directly. Uh, as important as hitting them directly can be, I don't think it's exactly what we want to be doing. So I'd rather do this. Um, I'll go ahead and guarantee the land drop we need. Also just get uh, a little extra life, which is never a bad thing. And there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we are at six mana. Fortunately, didn't get anything like a magma opus that we can discard it at any point, which is a little unfortunate, but uh, wow, we have so many arcane bombardments. I'm going to run one out and hope it sticks. It may not. Um... But if it does, we're like super, super well put, uh, placed here. I don't know. They, this is going to be an Invoke Despair deck, I imagine. Uh, so they could very easily have a, a way to kill this. But I'd rather them kill it before we get a chance to play anything with it. So that's kind of okay. Uh, and truthfully, I just hope we can get an extra... That's really good. Um, land, huh? Okay, so... This might be really cool. <laughs> Let's go ahead and ping the lull. So now we hit two things. Um, guess this. We will pull this. I don't know if this is correct. I have no idea. And then play with fire. Oh, we need to do this in a different order. No, we don't actually. This works out. Okay. So they put a counter on it, but the play with fire still kills it, so it doesn't matter. All right, so at the very least, we got rid of Lulf and we got some damage off the board. Um, not great. They can still kind of equip things up here, uh, which looks like to be their play. It's kind of okay. Oh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven. <laughs> yeah, that seems pretty good. Um, S U, S U. <laughs> um, I guess we'll take this. That seems good. Uh, no, actually, I don't think we want you. 
All right. Play with fire. Play with fire. No. <laughs> yeah, I would love a burn down the house. This deck is amazing. <laughs> uh, put one of them into your hands. What do we want? All of these seem pretty good, but I think I want the charm, actually. The life gain off the charm seems kind of important. We are still in danger of, like, taking a good bit of damage here, um, but I think we'll be okay. We do have some good stuff that we can we can hit here, so I'm feeling okay about it. That's fine. Um, <laughs> so how do we want to do this? Do we just create all the things, or do we just deal three damage and then... Uh, let's be semi-safe about it. We'll do this. I mean, I think we just win anyway, but this is just funny. This is so funny to me. All right, let's... <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> this is an insane deck. Uh, original deck list, you killed it, man. This is insane. Um, really don't think it matters what's on the top of our deck right now. We'll, I guess, take you. The learn possibilities here are amazing. Um, I mean, we just win now. Sure. <laughs> what a crazy series of turns. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. All right, sick. Uh, let's do a quick game three. Let's see if we can get it. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Definitely going to be our last game, but actually don't hate this hand. Um... We'll see what we're up against here. It might be a Roiling Eruption early versus the Tainted Indulgence. Um, but either, well, it's going to be a little tricky either way. So we'll want to save the uh, the Blight Step pathway depending on what we feel we need to do. So that means this has to come down on the blue side. But then we are setting ourselves up for a tricky double red. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. The Tainted Indulgence should help us find the lands that we need, though, so I'm not terribly worried about that, I guess. And by turn five, I mean, you know, we'll see. Uh, looks like the opponent is taking a mulligan, so I'm curious to see what we are up against. Uh, guys, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody um, for being so supportive uh, of the new podcast that Country Fried and I are doing. I know I mentioned it earlier. That podcast is an absolute blast. Uh, we are just having a phenomenal time working on that together. Uh, it truly is just an opportunity for us to hang out, have a great time, and play some silly or talk silly magic stuff. Uh, and it's working great. <laughs> it's really, really a great time. So uh, I do encourage everybody, if you haven't already, please do check that out because um, it really is a blast. It's a super special thing that we're able to do. Um, and there's some exciting news coming potentially soon. So I encourage everybody to uh, stay tuned for all that. That'll be in the next couple of weeks, I'm sure. Um, and again, just a just a, an absolute pleasure to work with such a great individual. So, all right, so we do draw two and then we are gonna have to discard. Um, I'm feeling like the negate might actually be relevant. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Let's just go ahead and play this out. We'll pass. We do want to keep up all the land, like, keep this as a land. It helps fix our mana. It just gets us where we need to be. We can negate something this turn. This is the Bant Bounce deck, I assume, um, which I've not played against. I have no idea what to expect. So, we'll see. Um, I'm just going to kind of keep things going. I'm not doing anything too crazy yet. Yep, and there's the negate that we were hoping for. For negate target, excuse me. Uh, so that was really good. We can go ahead and get that off the field. Um, sick. Magma Opus, huh? All right, so we do this and... I mean, we could Inspiration, but I think I'm just in the, the camp of passing. Um, again, not very exciting, I know, but like, I think it's just for the best. Um, we can let that resolve. We don't have to do anything yet. Yep. Cool. All right. Uh, worth noting, burn down the house is super, super good against this because we can just sweep everything. <laughs> uh, and it doesn't really matter. Burn down the house is like a premium in this deck. It's amazing. Um, cool. So chances are we may just go ahead and throw the treasure token out there. 
uh, this upcoming turn. Let's go ahead and do that. Just gives us options. Um, awesome. Ooh. So we can't do that and something else. I think I'm in the camp right now. We just need to burn down the house, to be honest. Um, Arcane Bombardment's great, but it's really much better when you can play something right away, and we unfortunately can't do that. Uh, now next turn we might be able to, it depends what we draw, but there is a potential that we can. So they are going to return that to their hand. That's fine. Alright, we'll just pass. So what is in our graveyard so far? Negate is definitely not good, <laughs> uh, but everything else is pretty relevant. I mean, we can draw more, we can deal some damage, we've got options here. So feeling okay about our position not great but okay um man i really wish we had any instant speed like one mana spell but i guess we'll just throw this out kind of hoping for the best here to be honest I'm not sold on it all right they have the Sizu, uh and they get the wanderer which is very good Yep, I would love a land. So this actually kind of helps us quite a bit. So that's fine. There's the Wanderer. It did this pre-combat, which was not smart, uh, actually, because I can just do this. <laughs> which I will do. I'm going to go ahead and take the opportunity to kill the Wanderer. I don't really want that thing sticking around. They should have waited until the end of the turn. That was a mistake on their end. Uh, if they have another one, they have another one, but there's the legend mirror box thing, which is interesting, I suppose. There's a land. Um, so because we did what we did, we do not have an option to play this turn. Um, but again, we're just kind of testing the waters. If they've got another besiege you... Oh, Broker's Storm. Okay. Well, at the very least, we are running them out of things to do. We can kill that. That is no problem. Um, so, that's cool. And I think we will. We're just going to go ahead and do the two-for-one play here. Just gets everything kind of out of the way. Uh, and yeah, I think, I think we're just going to get them in top deck mode. To be honest, this may not be worth it at all, but I'm going to do it. All right, cool. So now at least we know that they just can't have that much. So that sets us up pretty well. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we'll just take the mascot exhibition. I think at this point we're just kind of on the mascot exhibition beatdown plan. Um, with the hope that they just don't draw that much. Wow. Okay, well, that changes the math. Crap. Um, huh. Yeah. I'm wishing I had taken something else, but that's fine. So when they inevitably attack, we are just going to have to double block it to kill it. They can still get what? Oh, they didn't attack. Fascinating. Uh, I'm going to do this with the intention that we hopefully can get something to kill it, um, which I think is reasonable. That's very good. That was so fortunate. That was a gamble for sure. Um, I don't know what the right play is. I think it's just mascot expansion, honestly. Um, I think we can attack with this and nothing else because if they do have a Vorinclex, we're just dead. Like if they have another Vorinclex, we're dead. Looks like they don't though, so that's positive. Um, let's attack. And let's mascot exhibition. All right. It's all down to what they've got in hand. <laughs> they've got some cards, so I'm a little worried. Um, did we do it? Yes. Oh, that was amazing. All right. We got an undefeated run. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Let's talk about this. All right, guys. So this version of Arcane Bombardment pulling through three straight wins with this one. MTG Original decks, thank you so much again for sharing this one over on Aetherhub. This is an absolute gem of a deck. I love the discard feature that you added to this with the Black Splash. I think that adds actually quite a bit. We saw it kind of get the last couple cards or a card out of hand for the opponent in that last game. 
And I think that's really crucial because while, yeah, it's great to recur it, it's still good on its own. Uh, well, I will say the uh, the inscription seems a little lackluster when we don't have creatures to really pull back. Um, but honestly, other than that, I, that's not really what it's there for. I would suggest though, maybe trying something a little bit different, like a go blank to exile their graveyard or do something crazy like that. Um, but regardless, I mean, amazing. We got an undefeated run, guys. That was beautiful. Couldn't have asked for a better set of games. Absolutely love this one. Thank you guys again for watching. I really do appreciate it. We have uh, later today the announcement for the giveaway coming up. So do keep in mind, uh, if you're not subscribed, this is your very, very last chance to do so. We'll be announcing that winner later today. So do check out that later. But guys, thank you so much. I love you all. I'll see you later.